In any case, an interim executive can arrive on Monday morning after a call on Friday afternoon. We understand that coming in is not banging on tables. We understand it's a complete assessment and communications and active listening. Rather than wait for six months to find the perfect guy who, or girl who, who has experience and domain experience or whatever other people consider necessary, you get somebody in there tomorrow who can start making a difference. The 2014 year was not a good year. We went from an anticipated uh, you know, net income on the positive side to uh, a multi-million dollar loss. The plant was not producing boxes. We couldn't continue to operate the way things were going at the time. I knew that I didn't have the skills to make that change. Once I recognized that, I knew that we needed to look outside to find somebody who did have those skills. The drought came along and then everything went to the ground. We didn't have the preparation to deal with the water. A complete loss, you know, I guess for the owners because um, we, we weren't making anything. We were just spending money like crazy trying to fix the boilers, trying to figure out what was going uh, wrong. When we came out here, the factory was indeed shut down. There were three people kind of on the job. There was no operations, there was no production, there was no manufacturing. The boilers were uh, completely shut down and one the largest boiler was completely in pieces. So pretty much a disaster. We made the decision to bring Dick on board. We were able to find people with the technical expertise to come in, help address our issues, and within a few weeks, we were back in production. You could not depend on the people who didn't know how to solve the problem or set it up in the first place to fix a problem that they'd never seen before. We thought, okay, well, these people have a limited amount of resources because some of the things they don't know and they wish they could help, but they're not doing it. So I'm gonna get outside help and give them the resources so they can, they can do a good job. I did have the advantage of having grown up and worked in farming and ranching, knowing that irrigation and water are critical and that there are outside solutions that can be brought in on the back of trucks. Within two weeks, we had some things on flatbed trailers, filters, the ability to um, make sure that the water would be acceptable to a boiler. He wanted to integrate you know, the people that had been working here for a long time and just create a good team. He believed that expertise was already here, but that people you know, at the top level weren't listening. You don't walk in knowing the answers to things. Many of the people who've been here for years have been doing these things for years. They may not have the perfect answer, but they've been watching it and they've seen what's successful. He set about to make a change of our culture here, a change of more cooperation, more quality driven. It's really permeated throughout the whole company. The year before was a disaster. They were already $2 million negative. And at the end of the year, we were, let's say, $5 million positive. Even including the $2 million, it was negative in the first part of the year. The company has been profitable. I think even more importantly, the long-term investment that we've made, the potential for new markets, I think that the investment from this point in time has proved to be paid back and then some.